All right, in the intro video, we just went through an example with dividing polynomials. Uh, the more we do this, the faster they will get. So we can just jump right into these two examples. So whatever you're, whatever you are dividing, you're gonna write out first. So remember, we're just setting this up in long division. x cubed minus 5x plus 4x minus 2 is being divided by whatever that denominator is, x minus 2. All right, so now we start our long division. And again, we focus on our first terms, so an x and an x cubed. So x times what gives us x cubed? And that's going to be x squared. Did you notice I missed a squared right there? All right, that's going to be x squared. Now we multiply x squared times x is x cubed, and x squared times a negative 2 is a negative 2x squared. And then we're going to subtract that whole, those, both of those terms from the x cubed minus 5x. So x cubed minus x cubed cancels. And then we just have to be very careful with the signs on these. Negative 5x squared minus a negative 2x becomes plus, And that gives us a negative 3x squared. And now we're going to bring down just one term. That plus 4x is coming down. All right. And then again, we just look at the first terms. x times what gives us a negative 3x squared. So I need to multiply by a negative 3 to get that negative 3. And then x times, I need another x to get to the x squared. So minus 3x. Then we multiply. Negative 3x times x is a negative 3x squared. And then negative 3x times a negative 2 is a positive 6x. And then we subtract that second polynomial. So negative 3x squared minus a negative 3x squared becomes plus, so those cancel. 4x minus a 6x is negative 2x. And then we have to bring down that last term of negative 2. All right, again, we look at just the first terms. x times what number gives us a negative 2x? Well, the x is already there, so we just need that negative 2. So a minus 2, and then we multiply negative 2 times x is negative 2x and then negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4 and then we subtract negative 2x minus a negative 2x is positive 2x so that's 0 again those are going to cancel every single time if we did this right and then negative 2 minus a 4 is negative 6 so this is our remainder. This goes up here. We're going to say plus and then negative 6 over whatever we were dividing by, which was x minus 2. So our final answer, let's just rewrite it away from the problem in all of our work so that we're nice and organized, is x squared minus 3x minus 2 plus our remainder of negative 6 over x minus 2. Again, the answer seems really weird, but that's okay. It's correct. Okay, next one. Let's rewrite this in long division form. I'm going to change these t's to x's. Hope you don't mind. So 4x to the 4th minus 2x cubed minus 3x minus 9 is all being divided by... 2x squared minus x minus 3. Okay, so even though we have three terms out here, that's okay. We're still going to focus on the first ones. So 2x squared times what gives us 2x to the fourth? And that is going to be a 2 and an x squared. Then we multiply. 2x squared times 2x squared is 4x to the fourth. 2x squared times a negative x is a negative 2x cubed. And then 2x squared times a negative 3 
is a negative 6x squared. And then we subtract. So subtract this whole thing from above. So 4x to the 4th minus 4x to the 4th cancels. Negative 2x cubed minus a negative becomes plus. So those cancel. It's kind of nice. All right. And then do you see how we have this minus a 6x squared? But we don't have an x squared to subtract it from above, so you want to be careful with that. That negative... What's going to happen is it's almost like there's a 0x squared up here. So what's 0x squared minus a negative 6x squared that does become plus 6x squared, leaving us with 6x squared. And then we need to carry down our next term, which will be a minus 3x. All right, so... 2x squared fits into, or times what, gives us a 6x squared, and that's going to be plus 3, and then we multiply it out. 3 times 2x squared is 6x squared. 3 times a negative x is a negative 3x, and 3 times a negative 3 is a positive 9. All right, and then we're going to subtract. Right here, well, I'll talk about it in a second. So 6x squared minus 6x squared cancels. Negative 3x minus a negative 3x becomes plus 3x, and that cancels. And then this negative 9, we could have brought that down above. Let's just bring that down right now, because we have negative 9 minus a 9, which is 0. So we do not have a remainder on this one, which is kind of nice. So our final answer, and again, I will rewrite it away from the problem just to make it nice and neat is 2x squared plus 3.